Okay, welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, this one's been inspired by a few comments I see on the forum about what you can and can't see in the track header and the wasted space argument. Not going to get involved in whether that's right or wrong. This is merely a video to show you how I make the most of the tools that are available as uh, currently are there in X1. And I'm going to talk about widgets and the widget or track control manager as it's called. Now, what's a widget, you may well be asking, if you're fairly new to Sonar. The widgets are these elements here. For example, the edit filter, the track state controls, the MSR controls, the in, output, sends, all that sort of stuff. And the first thing I'm going to do is, for some bizarre reason, Sonar ships with uh, the widget control manager on, or track control manager showing custom. So the first thing we're going to do is click on that and change that to all as you can see uh, that shows all of them but the great thing with this is that you can actually edit it to suit what you want by the way before I move on if you want all showing as your default all you need to do is open up your template change it to all and then resave the template and that will change uh, will be your default then for future projects and so as I was saying sorry go back to the track control manager so we're going to click on that and bring up the track control manager and we'll just zoom in on there so you can actually see what I'm doing right uh, so first thing I'm going to do if you uh, is create a volume and pan view because that's something I saw commented on on the forum that you couldn't see that in the track header easily without wasting too much space so I'm going to click on new and just call that volume and pan and then I'm going to uncheck, oh sorry, let's leave that one checked. Uncheck everything except the, I'm going to leave the MSR and the volume and pan. And I've just done that on audio strips for this example, but obviously you can do that to suit. And click OK. Right, sorry, fighting with my mouse there. Okay, as you can see, that hasn't actually changed anything because we haven't changed the widget control manager yet. So if I come down now, we can see that volume and pan available. That has just put up the uh, volume and pan widgets, which if I drag that up, you can see there's nothing else showing there at the moment. So that's the two volume and pan widgets there now. Now to maximize that a little bit more, I'm just gonna change my meter options to uh, vertical meters as well, which will get rid of the bit down at the bottom there. Uh, I've also got icons showing by default, but I'm gonna change that. You can get rid of the big icons by right clicking and deselecting show icons. For the ones in a track header, you need to go up to views, icons, come down to track view, and unselect showing header. That'll get rid of that, which again gives you a little bit more space to the left there. So uh, as you can see, we now have just the volume and pan shown. I'm just gonna adjust the width of the track until that starts to jump. There's a point where that jumps, and once I've got that, we'll leave that there. Whoops, I've got mouse lock activated. Uh, so as you can see, we've now got the volume and pan show in there. And here's a handy trick for maximizing or resizing all of the tracks together. Just press Control A and then shift click and drag until you can see exactly what you want to see and then release. And that, as you can see, resizes all of the tracks uh, showing you what you want to see there. As I say, it's entirely up to you. Now, that wouldn't uh, be a bit of a pain if you had to keep going up there to click on there, but of course there's a shortcut for changing the widget view, and that is just chef, uh, shift and left or right arrow keys. And as you can see, that jumps through the various uh, widgets that you have available. You make your own up, as I say. I've already got some that I use uh, for a sends and a multi-edit view, which I'll show you in a minute. I'll just get back to the one I've created. Volume and pan, there we go. Okay, a couple more tricks before I move on to a different screen set. And that's, as I say, the resizing I've just shown you with the Control A. You can also, if I deselect them, double click in uh, the track header and that will maximize and double click will also restore. As I say, Control A to select all tracks, shift and hold while you left drag, resizes all the tracks. 
And also, if you have some that are, you don't even need to do the drag. If you have some that are different sizes, we'll just drag a couple down here, as you can see. All you need to do is, once you've got them all selected, is just control, is just shift and click, sorry, on the one that you want. And as you can see, that resizes them all. So that's some tricks for making the most of the track header tools that are available with the widget control manager. Uh, and as I say, the good thing is, is that they are screen set dependent. So if I jump across to my screen set six, you'll see I have that set up for sends and uh, you can see all I've got there is sends. So every send on a track, I can see plenty of sends without having to uh, mess around scrolling through sends and such like. And if you're interested in this screen set, which uh, you can use to jump around uh, the various tracks, that is available on another one of my videos on my YouTube page. Anyway, that is the Widget Control Manager and a few tips and tricks for making the most of what's available to show the most information that suits you. As always, I hope you find it useful and thanks for watching.